Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, why does my WebRTC connection work only on a local network? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer is experimenting with WebRTC to build a chat application using a data channel. The chat works perfectly when both peers are on the same local network, but fails when they try to connect from different networks. The signaling process seems to be functioning correctly with offers and answers being exchanged. However, there's a discrepancy in the number of ICE candidates sent by each peer, which might be causing the connection issues. So what could be the problem? When should you call Add ICE Candidate? Let's explore these questions and find out how to troubleshoot this WebRTC connection issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully getting you to that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and get through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. The first step in understanding why your WebRTC connection only works on a local network is to recognize the role of ICE candidates. ICE stands for Interactive Connectivity Establishment, and it helps peers discover each other and establish a connection. In your case, it seems that the peer creating the offer is only sending one ICE candidate, while the answering peer is sending two. This discrepancy can lead to connection issues, especially when peers are on different networks. To resolve this, ensure that you are properly handling the gathering of ICE candidates. You should call the add ICE candidate method on the receiving peer as soon as you receive an ICE candidate from the signaling server. Additionally, make sure your signaling server is correctly relaying all ICE candidates between peers. This is crucial for establishing a successful connection across different networks. Finally, check your network settings. Firewalls or NAT configurations can block WebRTC connections. Ensure that your peers communicate without restrictions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To connect your WebRTC outside of your local network, you need to use a STUN server. A STUN server helps devices behind a firewall establish connections with external VoIP providers. Here's an example of how to set up a STUN server in your code. You can use Google's STUN server by adding it to your RTC peer connection. For more details, check out my code on GitHub and visit my web application for a practical example. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your WebRTC connection only works on a local network, it might be due to symmetric NAT issues. To solve this, you need a turn server. The 
return server operates over TCP, which helps track every packet sent. Here's how to implement it. This implementation sends TCP encapsulated turn requests, ensuring they reach the recipient successfully. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your WebRTC connection only works on a local network, it might be due to router or firewall settings. You may need to configure stun and turn servers to enable connections over the internet. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped answer your question and you found that answer that you're looking for. Now, please hit subscribe for the help. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time on another one of these videos. Cheers.